especially as a dude can we spare a thought for a minute for flipping pilots and fontaine right um ghost writer to the stars most notably megan sorry most notably cardi b and maybe megan the Stallion. who knows but obviously a um you know in a relationship with megan the Stallion at the moment can we spare a thought for this guy he's having to sit by and essentially see the entire rap community confess out loud without saying and some of them saying explicitly that they've smashed his girl and i don't know if they smashed her when they were together because there's accounts of the Tory thing. I don't know if the Parliament was around during the Tory thing. Who knows? There's the flipping the baby situation where he said in the bar or that he smashed a flipping Megan Thee Stallion also. And it looks like they were both maybe double teaming her at the same time or maybe they didn't know that each other was smashing. Then part of some Fontaine thing. Then there's this Drake thing happening in other moment. Is Drake saying what he's saying because he smashed also? Is she reacting the way that she's reacting because he did smash? Like who knows what's going on? But essentially what we're getting the idea of, it doesn't matter. It's no one's, you know, no one's shaming her for sleeping with men. If you're single, do what you want to do. But as a dude, it's got to be hard to take, especially if you're finding out for the first time in the media. It's maybe one thing if she tells you, which she doesn't have any right to, she, you don't have any right to know if she wants to maybe tell you in terms of how you maybe conduct yourself and act in certain places might be useful because you might be there you know spudding and going over the top with the love and the big bros at some celebrity basketball match not knowing all along that this guy was flipping you know going to town on your missus a couple of months ago you don't want that so maybe it's beneficial she'd just sit you down and say hey Here's the guys I've been with categorically. Here's the guys I haven't been with. You hear these rumors, don't believe this. This is true. That might be handy. But if you're finding out for a real time in front of everybody, it's hard to take. And this Instagram post, I think, from him is a clear sign of cope. Um, I guess they're at some Halloween party. And I guess after all that stuff that happened with Tori, after that stuff happened with flipping the baby, the stuff happened with Drake, with the, with the bar and flipping back outside boys, he then writes in a caption of him taking a picture with them two at a Halloween party been you i had one a bad one a make a niggas mad one which is funny because you know you would assume he'd get violent and start to fight people because you know that's the thing that he's done beforehand and people have spoken ill of his woman but clearly when this drake getting involved you can't bring that kind of energy you don't want to get um you don't want to get put your hands on like drum did bless him as well he kind of caught strays in this whole flipping debacle but i don't know man spare a for part of some fontaine it's not easy being in a relationship with somebody that hot or that desirable that's usually the problem that people don't talk about often enough i guess happens on both sides especially for women if you're with a if you're with a guy that's high value or somebody that's incredibly attractive or the other especially attractive forget the value forget the flipping money side of things and status just somebody other girls think is hot it must be difficult to flip in live day by day with that you know what I mean? Because people get really disrespectful very easily, especially on social, outside in general. So imagine for this guy being in a relationship with Megan Thee Stallion, somebody a lot of people had a lot of love for, especially when, you know, pre-shooting and she was the hot girl summer thing, the twerking, like she was the one that everyone kind of had their eyes on. So clearly some people got the opportunity to get a bit closer than eyes. <laughs> and you have to kind of just hold it down at home bloody helmet absolutely brutal but you know big up both of them